friends welcome back in previous tutorial we studied about passive attacks in this tutorial we are going to study about active attacks unlike passive attacks active attacks may change the data or harm the system active attacks are normally easier to detect than to prevent because an attacker can launch them in a variety of ways so what happens active attacks are normally easier to detect than to prevent and active attacks can be subdivided into four categories masquerade replay modification of messages and denial of services we will study about uh, these types one by one so first of all we will study about masquerade masquerade is also known as spoofing so what happens in this case uh, masquerade or spoofing happens when attacker impersonates somebody else for example, an attacker might uh, steal the bank card or PIN of a bank customer and pretend that he is a customer. Sometimes the attacker pretends instead to be the receiver entity. For example, a user tries to contact a bank but another site pretends that it is the bank and obtains some information from the user. Right? So such type of uh, attacks are masquerade or spoofing. Now, now the next is replaying. Now what happens in replaying? In this case, the attacker obtains a copy of a message sent by a user and later tries to replay it. Now see what happens in this case. It will be more clear after this example. Suppose a person A has sent a request to his bank to ask for a payment to the person B. And what the person B has uh, done, the person B intercepts the message and sends it again to receive another payment from the bank. So this type of attack is replaying. Right? In this case, what happened? In this case, the attacker obtains a copy of a message sent by a user and later tries to replay it. Now, another one is modification. Now what happens in modification? In this case, the attacker after intercepting or accessing the information modifies the information to make it beneficial to himself. In this case, sometimes the attacker simply deletes or delays the message to harm the system or to get benefit from it. For example, suppose uh, there is a message allow Jim to read confidential file accounts right there is a message meaning allow Jim to read confidential file accounts and that is modified by attacker to mean allow Fred to read confidential file accounts so such type of uh, attacks are modifications right so what happens in this case in this case the attacker after intercepting or accessing the information modifies the information to make it beneficial to himself right the next is denial of service it is a very common attack it may slow down or totally interrupt the service of a system the attacker can use several strategy to achieve this attacker might uh, send so many bogus requests to a server so that the server crashes because of the heavy load. The attacker might intercept uh, and uh, delete uh, server's uh, response to client, making the client to believe that the server is not responding. The attacker may also intercept requests from the client, causing the client to send requests many times and overload the system. So this is uh, this type of attacks are uh, denial of service.